afternoon baseball here on the show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Chicago Cubs and the Cincinnati Reds. Here's Javier Baez. He will lead this one off today. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. Well hit the other way and it's into the gap. Baez will head for second. And the Cubs could be onto something here. It's a leadoff double. Batting second. The right fielder. Jason Hayward. Stepping in now, Jason Hayward. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Change up taken for ball three, well below the zone. You would think in this situation, maybe with a base open, he'd just pitch around him and put him on first. But not with the guy in the on deck circle. He's going to attack this hitter. Hit out towards second. Mustakas is there. Throw on to first in time, one away. So in now for Chicago, Chris Bryant, first trip to the plate for him in this one, and it's a good RBI spot, too. Leadoff man at third with one down. Circle change here, but it's taken for ball two. Line drive to center field. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. Next to hit will be Wilson Contreras. He drove in the other of their two runs last night. Fastball called strike. One and two. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. And a slider swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Stepping into the box, Nicholas Castellanos. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Oh, right back to him on the mound. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. In now for the Reds, Jesse Winker. He enters play hitting in the 260s for the year. Winker. The 1 2. You can bet these hitters are taking note of what the guy on the hill is working with. A long at bat like this in the first inning can reveal a lot. Hit down the line at first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. So up steps the former MVP Joey Votto. Two hits and eight tries for the series. That's in there on the outer half. One and two now. Hard hit at third. And a sliding try there at third, but it skips by him. A base hit. Batting four. The third baseman. Into the box. Hey, Eugenio hey, Suarez. Oh, oh, that grounder yeah. caught him. Great support from his infield, though, as that's the third out. Weird way to end the inning. Second inning set to go, and set to go is the veteran first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. Right 
turned on down the line. And he'll take this to the bag himself, and the leadoff man set down to start the second. For the next hub up, Kyle Schwarber. He drove in one of their two runs in last night's ball game. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. And he'll try to entice him with the changeup here, but it dips below the knees. It's two and two. Now a swing and a miss. He struck him out, and it's two up, two down to start the second. Ready now, Ian Happ. Lifetime versus this arm. He's batting 500, six for 12. He yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. Now the three and two pitch. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Castellanos is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Last half of the second set to go, and that'll give way to the veteran second baseman, Mike Mustakis. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Oh, and he leaves that one right over the plate as this is in high and deep out to right center field. And it is gone, a home run. In now, Aristides Aquino. This one's down to third. And that is through into left field, a base hit. Into the box now, Freddie Galvis. Ooh, jumped the gun a bit on that swing, and he's down one and two. Hard sinker misses two and two. Aquino aboard here at first with nobody out. And he struck him out. Ready now for Cincinnati. Tucker Barnhart. The catcher. Tucker Barnhart. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Now a throw over and a dive, but he's back in there. Ready to deal. Here's the 2 1. Uh, offered it a low one there, but came up empty. Good thing he didn't make contact with that pitch. Only thing he could do is probably get that on the ground. It could be a double play ball. And this one's in the dirt, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Ready with the payoff pitch. Runner goes. Grounded to first. And he'll take this over to the bag for the out, but meanwhile, the runner moves into scoring position at second. Man at second here with two away. And digging in to hit next, it'll be the pitcher, Luis Castillo. One and two, the count to the Reds pitcher. Breaking ball called just a bit low. Pretty good breaking ball to lay off of right there. If I'm pitching, I might think this guy might be sitting on something off speed. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Kipnis is there. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. And as the second baseman, Jason Kipnis, he's yet to get into the hit column in the series, 0 for 7. Lifted into center field. Winker is there, and he has it for the first out. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And the pitcher, Kyle Hendricks, will be the next to bat. One and two now as that one's fouled off. A little too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. So a full count now. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. 
He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. And he lays off here. It's ball four. And that is really cause for concern as he's just walked the opposing pitcher. The 2 1 pitch. In the dirt. And now let's see. And he'll just beat the throw to second. He's in there. And you can forget about the double play now as the runner moves up to second base. The 3 1. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. The 1 1 is a changeup that's looked at for a ball. Looking at his lifetime numbers, Hayward has collected just over 150 home runs in his big league days. Counts even to Hayward, two balls and two strikes. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. Galvis, return throw is in time. How about that? They do turn two, and it gets him out of the inning. Bottom of the third now, and the right-handed hitting Nicholas Castellanos will bat next. Now the one-and-one one pitch. Misses off the plate. Three balls and a strike to the Reds' left fielder. This is where you cash your checks right here. Three-one. You're one of the best hitters in the game. You live for situations like this. But this will be gloved out there at second as he didn't have far to go for the out. Digging in to try it again. Jesse Winker, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Drilled on the ground is short. Throw gets him two down. So bases are empty here with two gone. And standing in is the on-base machine, first baseman Joey Votto. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Hap will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. Digging in next will be Chris Bryant as we begin the top of the fourth. Now the one and one pitch. Fouled away. The one two. In the air to straightaway right. Aquino is there and he'll bring this one in. So one away here in the Chicago fourth. And stepping up to hit next, the catcher Wilson Contreras. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Snatched out of midair at first base for route number two. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that brings in Anthony Rizzo. One run, just one hit. No errors so far for the Cubbies. Swung on and chopped up the middle. And a low throw to first, but Votto's able to come up with it. A fine play there to end the inning. Bottom of the inning now, and set to go is the third baseman, Eugenio Suarez. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Hasn't seen a heater yet in this at bat. One might be coming right here. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Hit high and deep out there to left center field. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. Now that is the second base. Standing in now, Mike Moustakis. That's a foul ball off to the left, and it moves to one and two. Open stance by Moustakis, and now the pitch. 
hard hit ball to second. And that is into right field, the base hit. And they'll put the brakes on at third. Runners at the corners with nobody out. Number 44. To the plate now, Aristides Aquino. Now a changeup locks him up as he looks at strike three called, one away. Stepping in, Freddie Galvis. And he's got runners at the corners here with only one gun. The 1-1 home. Hit out towards second. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. And that'll bring home the runner from third to make this a 2-1 ball game. At the plate, Tucker Barnhart. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. And that's through into left, a base hit. Throw comes in quickly here, and that'll prevent the runner at third from testing things here. Now so now to the plate, Luis Castillo. And this is low, ball two, two and one. You put yourself in this situation, you gotta get yourself out of it. You got the pitcher at the plate, 2-0 count. You gotta take your chances and throw something middle of the plate. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. And another foul ball. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Schwarber has it, and I'd be surprised if they send the runner. And even with two outs now, they decide to hold that runner at third. Nick Castellanos now. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at-bat, but it resulted in a line out. Here's the 1-1. One -one. Oh, looked like he was towing an anchor there, one and two. There's a line drive, base hit to left field. Notch one in the score column as a runner from third crosses the plate. It's now three to one. The center fielder, number 33. At the plate now, Jesse Winker. Winker in front, three balls and a strike. And he fouls this one off. He sent the three two and that misses ball four a run will come in to score in is Joey Votto now one of the bigger spots in the ball game so far base is juiced now with two away three and two and now the carousel will be in motion here with two away for the guy in the mound this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy he's thrown a bunch of pitches and this AB hasn't been any different and he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Into the box now, Kyle Schwarber. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. And, oh, he can't get out of the way of that one, so the leadoff man will be on to open the frame. Now At the plate, Ian Happ. He's 0 for 1 thus far. A 1-2 pitch. And he got him. So a runner at first with one man gone. And standing in now, the power-hitting second baseman, Jason Kipnis. 1-1. One, one. Oh, and look out as this runs in and gets him. The second man he's plunked in this one. And now the Cubs pitcher, Kyle Hendricks. And he may instead be asked to bunt. We'll see how they approach the situation with one away. 1-1. One, one. Fifth inning here in a 4-1 to one ball game. Now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. One there. Back to Votto, but it's not in time as they settle for just the one. And now back to the leadoff spot in the Cubs lineup. Stepping forward, Javier Baez. And their runners at the corners now. The 1-1. 
and one. Hit in the air out to left field. Castellanos is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Eugenio Suarez. The one two is swung on and missed strike three. Now at the plate, Mike Mustakis. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Hit on the ground out to short. Baez fields it cleanly. And oh, the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he'll reach it first. So it's a runner at first as a result of the throwing error. And next, it'll be the outfielder, Aristides Aquino. A bouncer to the left side. The second for one, but wisely, no thought of a return throw, and the inning will continue. At the plate, Freddie Galvis. He's working on a one for two game so far. Here's the 1 1. Outside, 2 and 1. We're starting to see a lot more balls from him now, and that's a direct result of him getting hit around. Oh, and now, meanwhile, this ball is cranked out to straightaway center field, and this one is going to leave the yard. It's a home run. Trevor McGill enters from the bullpen to do the pitching. Now pitching for Chicago. Number 29, Trevor McGill. In now, Tucker Barnhart. And here's a slider that runs inside that time, and that'll keep him from diving out over the plate. Drill down the line. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. Now batting. The pitcher. Into the box now, Luis Castillo. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Into the corner and slicing foul. Here now the 2 2. Popped him up. Bryant in foul ground. And that retires the side. All set for the start of the inning. And that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, Jason Hayward. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time to... There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Gone to lead off the inning. To the plate now, Chris Bryant. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Castellanos is there and he makes the catch for the out. So here's the cleanup hitter, Wilson Contreras. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Yeah, Matty, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. Hit hard up the middle. That's through, and he's got his first base hit. He's one for three. Into the box, Anthony Rizzo. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Kyle Schwarber waits on deck. Two runs, three hits, one error for the Cubs to this point. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with only one away. 
Now into the box now. Kyle Schwarber comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. The 1 1 home is an off speed pitch taken for a ball. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. Three and one to the Cubs left fielder. You fight so hard to get into these type of counts. You can't let this pitch get away from you. You have to keyhole something middle of the plate. Now a fastball swung on and missed and it's full three and two. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. And that will bring in the Pittsburgh area native Ian Happ. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. Can't find the zone there, and it's three and one. Call didn't go his way on two and one, but it's important here on three and one to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. High in the air out to center field. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And he will get in to score, and it's a run batted in on the sacrifice fly. Coming to the plate now, now Jason back. Kipnis. And we'll see what he can do here. Two on, two away, two home so far this inning. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, 1-2 one. One and two is the changeup had him out in front there. So far this season with runners in scoring position, Kipnis hits a little over the 270 mark. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Bottom of the sixth inning now. And coming forward, the veteran outfielder, Nicholas Castellanos. The 2-1 home. Taken strike two. A pretty aggressive pitch right there up in the zone. Surprised he didn't offer at it. Slapped hard the opposite way. And that's going to get down in front of Hayward for a base hit. The center fielder, number 43. Captain Winter. At the plate, Jesse Winker. Into right field, that's a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Now batter, the first baseman, Joey Votto. At the plate now, Joey Votto. Now a swing and he gets him to pop it up. And that's going to fall for a base hit. And this will score the run from second to make this a 7-3 game now. The third baseman, number seven. Eugenio. Stepping in now, Eugenio Suarez. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Half. It's on the warning track as he hauls it in for a loud out number one. Throw won't get him. Digging in, Mike Mustakis. And error allowed him to reach base in his last appearance. The 1-1. One, one. Ripped on the ground to first. There's one. The relay on to first. The double play, and the side is retired. Boy, oh boy. Jose De Leon will come on now and make his 55th appearance of the year. Number 87. Victor Caratini is up off the bench as he'll pinch hit here to start inning number seven. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. And this is going to find some real estate out there as he comes through off the bench with extra bases. And the Cubs could be onto something here. It's a leadoff double. Now battle. 
Javier Baez. In now, Javier Baez takes this the other way to right. That's in there. Base hit. And they'll get it in quickly. It's first and third now with nobody out. Up next to the ball. The right field. To the plate now. Hey, Jason Hayward. Swing and a line drive into left field. A base hit. And the run is in to score from third. It's now a 7-4 to four contest. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. Up next to the ball. The third base into the box now Chris Bryant well above the letters with the fastball that time hit to third throw will get him at first for out number one but on the play another run will come in to score Pedro Stroke will come on now to make his 30th appearance of the year so far Wilson Contreras will be his first assignment out of the bullpen as he'll stand in with a runner in scoring position at second and one away. Now a big fastball and he's well behind it with the swing. This is on the ground over to first. He lays out but he can't make the play and it's through into right and the runner from second will stay put at third so they're runners at the corners the now with one away. Anthony Rizzo. Into the box Anthony Rizzo line drive to center field and that is down for extra bases as this will get one home and maybe two. the play Kyle Schwarber just hung in there on that one the one two is swung on and missed strike three ready for another chance Ian Happ as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third and it appears they're going to give him the intentional walk here. So now they'll have a force at any base with two gone. Now batting. Digging in. in. Jason Kipnis. Kipnis. He was sat Kipnis. down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. Alec Mills will come on to pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the lineup on the double switch here. David Bodie is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher's spot, hitting ninth now on the double switch. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And a half swing here, but he pretty clearly went around, and it's one and two now. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. The one two. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Half has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first out. Stepping up now, now Freddie Galvis. Yeah, in his last at bat, he hit a changeup out for a home run, so it'll be interesting this A.B. to see if they give him a steady diet of fastballs. To two balls and two strikes now. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed, and for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Tucker Barnhart. So far, two for three in this one. And it's fouled away. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Modi has a play. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning.
Matt Bowman will come on to pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the lineup on the double switch here. Kirk Casale will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. Bowman uses a split finger fastball as one of his weapons of choice in the arsenal. He can really be very deceptive when that pitch is working. And I'd imagine as a hitter, it's always in the back of your mind. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. So their half of the eighth opens with a man aboard. At the plate now, Javier Baez uh, got him swinging on the split finger pitch, and that's out number one. Riding into the box, Jason Hayward. He's homered and doubled in four trips, so he's definitely been a factor. And a splitter here, but he had a bit too much on it as this bounces up to the plate. Hit hard on the ground to second. And that gets through a base hit. He's three for five. Throw into third. And he is in there at third as the possible tying run. The the third base Stepping in now, Chris Bryant. Oh, on the ground to short. Could this be two? One there. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And now it'll be the catcher, Kirk Casale. Two balls and two strikes to the Reds catcher. Wow, not sure what you're looking for right there, but that one was pretty much middle, middle, center cut. Tough pitch to take. Three and two, full count. Now the payoff pitch home. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. Two hits in four attempts to this point. And that's outside. He lost him ball four. So a runner at first now with one away. And next to bat will be Jesse Winker. The set and the 1-1 one -one pitch. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. And it's gone. To the plate now, Joey Votto. Three and one. With this one almost in books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to... And he'll lay out to make a spectacular catch. Wow. So now the Reds' cleanup hitter, Eugenio Suarez, hit the ball pretty well in his last at-bat, but it resulted in a line out. Yeah, Matty, but as he walks to the plate right here, he feels... And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. You Michael Lorenzen comes on from the pen, now, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. All set to start the ninth in this one, and Wilson Contreras digs in at the plate. They look like they're up against it here, down three on the road trying to come back against a closer to one and two now and a good hard slider is this one swung on and missed for the first out here in the ninth the first baseman, number and that'll three. bring Anthony Rizzo Anthony. to the plate he's working on a one for three thus far this is pulled into right and that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. And now it'll rattle up against the wall. Now back, left fielder, Kyle Schwarber. At the plate, Kyle Schwarber fouled off. Runner at first here, one man out. And he takes very close to the inside corner here. Two and two, though. Try 
tried to bury one down and away, but it's a full count now, three and two. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. The next 3-2. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. So coming to the plate, Ian Happ. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Late that time for a strike. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Albert Almora will start to loosen up in the on-deck circle as he'll bat with two on and two out here. At the letters, but called high, it's a ball. And there's a called strike two as now they're down to their final strike this afternoon. Sometimes you can get away with a pitch in that location when you're running it up there that hard, but not consistently. You still have to work the edges of the zone most of the time. And he'll make the catch there to end it, and the Reds have taken the rubber match of this three-game set as this ball game is over. Hey, one of the keys to having a good record in baseball is to win some games at home, so this was a big win to win at home in front of their home crowd. Nine to six, the final tally in this one. Cincinnati get their 20th home win this year. Luis Castillo earns his sixth winning decision in this one. Michael Lorenzen wraps it up for the save, his fifth of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line score for our ball game this afternoon for the victorious Cincinnati Reds. Nine runs, 14 hits. No errors. They left eight men on base. For the Cubs, six runs, 11 hits, one error, and 13 runners left on base. Time of the ball game, four hours and one minute. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to...